So what does HVAC, air conditioning, have to do with a roof? Well, in this situation, you're not just an installer or an HVAC guy. You gotta think of the whole house as a system. The roof is part of your HVAC system. By putting this white coating on the roof, this customer doesn't need an extra ton and a half of heating or cooling for the summer or winter time just by installing a white roof. That's it, not even foam. The neighbor of this house last Monday just got a foam roof. And in one of my videos, I stuck a foam roof on one of my old houses back in 1988. It makes a huge difference. Um, someone would say, I don't want to let my customer know that, you know, changing the color of their roof or adding insulation, I could sell them smaller equipment because I make less money with less tonnage or BTU equipment I sell. But what about when you have those extremes when, uh, or the low load times and it's cycling off all the time, constantly on five minutes, off five minutes, on five minutes causes the equipment to break down. Then you're doing it under warranty or out of warranty and it's breaking down on the customers. And there's some people who say, well, if it breaks down all the time, that's generating work. That's good for me. I want the customer stuff to break down all the time. That's a different way of thinking. Some people think like that, you know, because they're, they have no work. Nobody ever wants to rehire them again. So they're always having to advertise and they're always looking for ways to scam people into more work. But how about thinking about the other way? You put a system in and it barely ever breaks down, barely costs them anything to run it. And compared to what they have before, you're the hero because you sold them a small system for one three quarters the price, one half the price, and saved them in other aspects of their home. So before putting up the air conditioning system up here, recoding the roof, and that's it. You'll get some more video when I finish, but it'll get three coats of this, uh, Home Depot. Um, on the other house, I'm putting on the silicone one that has a you know the lifetime warranty. This says 12 years. Well, you better come back up here and recode it in about six years. But that depends on your environment. Speaking of which, you can see this old silver has bare actually over here barely aged at all. It was pure silver. But as you get out here past the sun line, it starts showing more age and fatigue and more cracks through the silver paint that was applied on here you could see the black that is bad if you've already cracked and exposed the asphalt the butyl underneath you already vaporized out and like a perfume evaporating or alcohol evaporating the hydrocarbon liquids inside the butyl and the tar come out and that's how roofs crack and that's how they leak never let your roof expose to the atmosphere to the sun because that's how they get brittle you want to keep those solvents trapped inside the tar for as many years as po possible to keep it elastic and pliable. It's when you bake them. And so the colder your roof is, the cooler your roof by having a white roof instead of a silver roof or a dark roof, the longer the hydrocarbons, the light volatile oils stay in the tar and keep it uh, malleable. And that's what you want to go for. So if you could keep your roof coated don't let it get exposed leave it cool it'll last decades longer all right that's it for now